Tri-Tip Trio. You've probably heard of a Tri-Tip. We introduced them a couple, uh, maybe a year or two back on a video explaining that it's not a very popular cut in this part of the country. It's gaining popularity. And we're actually gonna take three tri-tips and we're gonna, we're gonna cook them three different ways. But we're gonna start with showing you where it comes from, how to break it out of the animal, and how we're gonna trim it. Let's just get started. First thing we're gonna do is remove the rose meat on this flank. Now that the rose meat's off, let's get to this flank. Now that the flank's off, you can find the tri-tip located right here by this sirloin tip, or otherwise known as the round tip. Just wanna break that knuckle, come down along the femur. And the key with these is how you break them out of here. You gotta make sure you get all of the steak out when you break them out. There's a seam right here. So you just wanna follow this seam right here with the tip of your knife. You can see that right there. We don't wanna get into that muscle because that's the sirloin and you just continue to bring it down and out just like that. Now what we wanna do is just pull the tri-tip off of the sirloin tip, following this natural seam. That's the round tip, but what we're after is this tri-tip. It's this muscle located right here. So, so to do these, we're gonna cook them three different ways. That's why we're calling it the tri-tip trio. And one of them, we're gonna cook like a brisket. We're gonna cook it to probably just over 200 degrees. We're gonna let it rest, and we're gonna slice it like brisket. One of them we're gonna cook more of a smoke, and then we're gonna slice it into deli-style sandwiches for thin, thin like roast beef for sandwiches. And then one of them we're gonna cook and sear it off pretty much just like you would a steak. So that's why we're calling it the tri-tip trio. And we're gonna trim these each different, just a little bit different according to how we're gonna cook it. So this one will either be cooked like the steak or it'll be cooked for the deli meat. Therefore, we wanna take off a pretty decent amount of that fat cover. You wanna remove the gristle the silver skin, and anything like that. A little bit here on the end. And there you have beef tri-tip ready for the grill. So now that we have one for a steak or a roast style, the next one, we're gonna leave some fat cover on it because this one's gonna be cooked more like a brisket. We want some of that fat on there just to protect the meat, since we're gonna be cooking it low and slow and for a longer period of time. And some of this is personal preference too, because if you, you know, any of these methods that you, you want a little bit more fat left on it, by all means, you can do that. But we're just gonna leave a little added protection on this one. That way we cook it long, low and slow doesn't dry out on us. Just a little bit of gristle here on the bottom we'll shave off. I think that looks just about right. 
So you can see the difference between these two. This one's fully trimmed. That one has a fat cover. The tri-tips are all cut and trimmed. As you can see, they look a little bit different. Two that are trimmed, one that's not. And I thought that uh, since this was Jeremy's idea, he's gonna take from here and he's gonna get them on the grill. So tri-tip trio, you saw them cut. Now you get to see them cooked Let's off to the it. grill. Tri-tip trio. So you watch Seth cut them. We're going to show you our three favorite ways to cook them. Um, first off, this middle one we're going to do like a brisket like Seth mentioned. So we did leave a little bit more fat on there because we want to see how that renders down. Um, this is going to go for about five hours. The one we're doing in original, uh, we're going to cook and then sear off and then cool it down. We're actually going to shave it with a meat slicer and make some sandwiches later. In the Brock blend, we're going to reverse sear. So we're going to go indirect for a little while and get it to about 120, 125 degrees and then we're going to sear it off on this piping hot birch barrel. So first we're going to get the seasoning. You just want to give these a real generous coat. And if you get into a lot of seasoning, all these seasonings come in a four pound bucket. That way you won't run out at all. Make sure you get the sides. Okay, we have a good healthy coating on that. Once we get these seasoned, we're just gonna let them rest for about 15 minutes and let the seasoning sweat into the meat. If you don't wanna wait that long, you can use a binder too, mustard, mayonnaise, something like that. Don't worry about the flavor, it'll cook out and you won't even notice it. So let's go with the original here. Okay, got these two going. Last one, black. This is the one we're gonna do like a brisket. You wanna get real creative and call it a trisket. Another good healthy dose of seasoning. Isn't that a chip? It could be. This is a meat chip. The one you're doing like a brisket, you can't really over season. So get a nice thick layer on there. All right. These three are good to go. We're going to give them about 10 or 15 minutes. Let the seasoning sweat in, then they're going on the smoker. About 15, 20 minutes, we let this seasoning sweat in. You can see they're getting real nice color to them. Um, so let's get them on the smoker and get to cooking. We're going to use this Therm Pro here to monitor our temperatures the whole time. This one we're doing like a brisket. We're playing on about five hours. And this first one, we're gonna reverse sear, and then we're gonna slice it and make some deli meat. So this has been going for a little while now. We've been running the pit at 250, 250, 275, um, but the tri-tip that we're gonna do for sandwiches is ready to get seared off. So we're gonna pull it out of here and sear it off in the birch barrel. And we took this to about 120 degrees internal, and we're gonna go for a finish of about 130. All right, we got 130 degrees internal, so we're gonna pull this off and let it rest. And then we're gonna put it in the cooler so it quits cooking, and we're gonna slice it up with a slicer in a little bit. Okay, for the tri-tip that we're gonna do like a steak, we're gonna try something different today. We're gonna make a chimichurri sauce for it. So we got a bunch of ingredients here. We roasted some garlic, roasted poblano pepper, uh, fresh parsley, red wine vinegar, olive oil, coarse sea salt, pepper, and oregano. Uh, we're gonna chop some of this parsley up and then mix it all together and we'll have a nice sauce for us later on.
so here's the finished product. All the ingredients mixed together. We're gonna let that sit for a little bit. All those flavors marry together. It smells amazing. Um, if this is something that interests you, you can find the recipe here. Okay, our brisket style tri-tip has reached the internal temp we want. Got a good outside look to it, good texture. So what we're gonna do now is we have some uh, tallow rendered down and we're gonna put a little bit of this in with it just for a little bit of added fat, fat content. You don't have to go too crazy with it like I did. As you can see, this thing is looking awesome. We're gonna pull this off here. We're gonna leave our probe in it because we still want to monitor this temp the rest of the cook. A little more tallow. And then you're just gonna wrap it up. Then we're gonna go back on the grill and we're gonna shoot for probably an internal temp of 200 or we're at least gonna start checking at 200. Once we get there, what you want to do is you really want to go by feel as much as temperature. So as long as it's probing like melted butter, we'll be golden. Our thermometer is reading 201 and we're going to check the texture quick. All right, the paper is a little tough to get through, but the meat is probing like butter. So we're going to go ahead and pull this off and just let it rest in the cooler. We won't worry about the probe. We'll just unhook that when we unwrap it. We're going to let this rest for about 30 minutes and then we're going to slice into it. Third and final tri-tip is the one that we season with the brock and we're going to reverse sear this and cook it just like we would a steak. We'll show you through this process. Grill still running about 250, 275. We're gonna expect this to take about 45 minutes yet. So we'll check back. Okay, we're gonna slice this tri-tip. But one thing we wanna point out real quick is if you look real close, you can see these grains actually change direction. So about midway through, they change going that way. So you wanna cut against it. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna cut right here in the middle about where they change. Great color in there. And then Liz is gonna start shaving it for our sandwiches. Wait, were we, oh my goodness. Is it good? Were we supposed to go for a big reveal? No. No? no? We do multiple reveals. Oh. How, is it, how is it cold? Oh. Sorry, my stacks aren't very straight. Guys, we keep just, it's just levels. I mean, that is absolutely tremendous. After eating the play button, eating that, uh, those burnt ends, and now this. I'd like one pound chipped, please. Super, super thin. I'd like it see-through. Man, if you want a meal prep for the week, be it. you want to make deli roast sandwiches, good cheap way to do it too for a lot of meat. Absolutely. Is there a bone for me, please? <laughs> Is there a bone in it? Oh, Charles. <laughs> he hates to be held. Can you, can you hold him while he'll eat it while I'm, oh, I'm yeah, holding it? Yeah, put him down. <laughs> Here, Try to pick, I'll pick you up while you feed it to the dog. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh my word! Now we know not everybody has a slicer at home, but you can do virtually the same thing with a knife. We saved a little chunk here. You just want to go down, slice it as thin as you can. You'll still turn out a great product. <laughs> What's in here? Got your vertical. And just bring my pit. When's the last time you guys used this? What's somebody? Back 1987. Somebody 1987. <laughs> <laughs> She'll clean up. Who's gonna have to clean it? You. <laughs>
Last tri-tips ready. Let's hit an internal 125. Let's sear it off and then we'll slice it up. Last tri-tip's done, got a real nice sear on it. What we're gonna do now, pull it off here, and we're just gonna let it rest for about 15 minutes. Let all those juices redistribute. So what you wanna do is just cover it with some aluminum foil. Not real tight, just kinda tent it on there. And we'll check back in a few. We've done plenty enough cooking, time to do some tasting. We're going to show you how we finish these off here. This is the reverse seared one that we are going to finish preparing like steak. Again, the grains, be mindful of that. What we're going to do is just cut into here and you can see how much moisture was left in there. Just get a nice pile here for everybody to try. And then we're gonna come back to our chimichurri sauce. Ladle that over top. Let that rest for a second. And we'll take a look how this one, like a brisket looks. As you can see, that one doesn't need for any moisture. See if we can do this without making an absolute mess. Let's cut into this one. It's got that brisket texture. And we'll bring in some guests. And see if it's got that brisket flavor. About right there is where you want to switch again. This is enough to get going and test though. Guys. Oh my Don't goodness. have to tell me twice. You look like you did a great job. What are you going after first? I'm just going to go bang, bang, bang. Since you have the added flavors of the chimichurri, I think I'm going to do the same thing. Start with the brisket, go to the chimichurri. And then this the is brisket steak. style tri-tip. Brisket style tri-tip. Did you ever notice how he's always first? Always, the bite? always. Biggest boys eat first. Oh, I get two. Yeah, see, you're saying. Mm -mm. Mm. That's really good. That's really, fantastic. Really tender. Tender, and I usually do my tri-tip like steak, so I only do it to like 130 internal, and this is phenomenal. Yeah. Like it has, it has, it actually has more of a brisket type flavor, like a beefy flavor, <clears throat> than a steak flavor. I'm thinking for those folks that are intimidated by doing a whole brisket, this would be a great way to start because if you think about it, you know, an eight to 10, 12 pound brisket, 15, some of them, the big packers, um, that may be too much for you to try, but a one and a half to two pound tri-tip, give this a shot because if you had those side by side, I, I, I mean, I would just think that's brisket. And you're less than half the cook time. That's yep. about five hours wrapped into that. Well, this is the steak style with the hay silage on it? Yep, reverse reverse the hay here. silage. Brock seasoned. Mmm. Chimichurri. I think some of that chimichurri leaked over in the now, brisket. I'm not. Mm, ain't hating it. The flavor of that chimichurri is right up front. And then you get that beef behind that. Steak flavor. So... Big beefy, almost a roast-like brisket flavor. Steak, like top quality, top shelf steak right here. <clears throat> this one I think takes a, just a little bit more chew. This one's right, you just pull apart tender. Mm -hmm. But 
the chimichurri sauce on there. It's interesting how much phenomenal. the flavor changes though, just between the two of them. Yeah, All right. Absolutely. Time for the sandwich. Tell me what we got here, Josh. It looks like you went and used the best seasoning available. We did use the hot seasoning for an aioli mixed with a little bit of mayo. He is obviously hot Scott. And then we toasted some buns and we shaved that meat like lunch meat. See, I and like this guy. First thing he does is <laughs> start passing down the line. <laughs> hey, hey, thank you. Some. So, that's really good. Mm, shaved tri tip. In a Philly steak has always been one of my absolute favorites. Mm-hmm. Oh. I don't know whose idea it was the to toast that smoky, bun, but that's yeah, a that game changer. Yeah, that crunch and that <laughs> smoky game flavor and then that hot aioli on there. Oh. That's tough to beat. So I, I've got to ask, gents, if you could only choose one, which one would it be? Um, does the tri-tip trio count as one? Yeah. yeah. So technically three. I guess I, if, if, if you were going to do it one of these three ways, which, and at your next barbecue, which one are you going to choose to do? Mm, uh, it's a tough call for me. I'd say that, like, this sandwich is kicking butt. Like, I'm, 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 my favorite thing to, to eat right here is this sandwich, just because of the textures, the flavors, the crunch, everything. Obviously, that's the most work. Nine times out of ten, I'm gonna make that style of tri tip because it's it's easy, but it's quick, it's steak flavor at a at a at a good price. I've never actually done or tried that. I'm impressed. I I love it, but this sandwich right here is just. I think you don't see the sandwich style a lot, so that would be a way to impress all of your guests. So definitely yeah. the sandwich or the Trisket style would be. The one that I'd go for. Sean, you gotta go low to this sandwich, Sean. It's not hot. They all They're definitely have their of, place. You said it had hot It's style. not. It's not that hot. You gotta. <laughs> right. Co Sean. It's no it, more yeah. than. Yeah. It, it's, it's. Older brother I've isn't falling for that. The outside of this is. Yeah. That's brisket. It's got that bark. Yeah. That's where the black seasoning comes in, too, with, the, with creating, that, it. creating that bark. Lissy, get in here. Yeah. You haven't had any of this. Come on. Take a bite out of one. Get it, of get in there. Brady, you want a bite? Grab I'll that sandwich. Start Spence. with that sandwich. Lissy went to all the work of slicing it. She certainly deserves to try it. There you go, Spence. Mm. Oh, you yeah. got to try it. Oh, thank you. Give a bite one. to Brady, if you would, please. Here, Brady. I like sandwiches. Oh, wait, so. hang on. Yeah, yeah, yeah that Brady. sandwich. I can guarantee you that, that the really next time I make a tri tip reverse seared steak style, I will absolutely be making Jeremy's chimichurri recipe because that that just took it to a whole I'm new gonna, dimension. I'm gonna I'm gonna put some excuse me some hot Ooh. Scott aioli Ooh, and some chimichurri on some of that shaved tri tip. Definitely got some spice. Mm. Look at mm. that, Spence. Look at the oh. juice in that thing. Question is, Josh, do we have any more buns left? We have more I buns. Use, I could use another Seven sandwich. More buns. <laughs> yes, we do. Needless to say, just the Steiner brothers again knocked it out of the park. Good job, men. Yeah, thanks. Hey, thanks. Very good job cooking. Tri tip trio. Oh, sure there. We thought it'd be cool to do a cut, cook, the whole deal, but do it three ways. You saw it done three ways. You can choose which style you want to try next. Maybe you want to do all three. Um, obviously, you kind of heard what we had to say about which ones we liked, maybe better than the others. They all were phenomenal. So, um, like I said, great job, men. Hopefully, everybody enjoyed watching the video. Try Tip Trio. Anything else to add? Anybody? Later, y'all. See you until next time. Happy barbecuing. See you next time.